and welcome along. It's a Friday morning, 10.30. Uh, welcome along to this live United Kingdom. We've had terrible trouble today. I'm very, I'm very tall. I'm actually taller. I've got a guest today. A guest. James Dean is here in the studio. Say hello, James Dean. Hello, James Dean. There you are. And I'm very, I am just really very tall. taller than you, aren't I? Yeah. I thought you were going to be... Just, <coughs> is that better? Now I'm shorter than you. Look at that. That's about right. Never mind. Yeah. Welcome along, boys and girls. Uh, I had terrible, terrible technical issues this morning, um, to be honest. It's the worst, the worst computer problems I've had for years, to be honest. Um, it, it just wouldn't happen. I use uh, Firefox as a browser. Uh, immediately you say something like that. Did I introduce you, by the way? You did, yes. yes. <laughs> well, as soon as you say something like, oh, I've had terrible trouble with Firefox, someone will come back and say, oh, no, you shouldn't be using that one. Oh, no, it's rubbish, that is. It's the same as when, whenever they have a, um, a new um, operating system. Yes. And those people, because they can't work the new one, mm. so, like, myself, yeah. right, like myself, we can't work the new one, so we blame it. You know, oh no, it's crap that is, that one doesn't work at all, don't you? Yep. Yeah, I, I can remember many a phone call from you when you've tried to... Oh, please something don't, new. don't. I used to be screaming, I've known you about, um, 2003, was it? Yeah, ten years. About ten years now, and, um, whenever I had a, a, a technical issue, I used to complain bitter. I used to be screaming down mm. the phone at people, blaming them for the fact that I couldn't <laughs> work something. Because I'm really not a technical type person at all. Uh, we've got a couple of people with us already this morning. Uh, I believe Marge in Oklahoma. James Dean makes sausage. Oh, is there a sausage factory called James Dean? In she's in oh. Oklahoma, USA. She's got the most wonderful accent. Has she? Would you like to talk to her? Uh, maybe the yes. lovely Marge. Yes. We'll give you a call a little bit later, Marge. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, young Sean is with us as, uh, as well this morning. Sean Riches, mobile DJ extraordinaire. Oh look, he's made another comment. What's happening? Live stream just has an image with different instrumental music. We were, that's because we had a problem, so I had to do something. It was either put something on there, dear, or do nothing. Here is a little tip for you, Sean. If anything ever goes wrong with your technical issues or music, if you're on a radio station or even DJing, get some noise on. Make some. Don't go silent, because that's it. Everyone to start complaining. Do something. Do you know what I mean? Fill in the gaps. There's nothing worse than dead hair. Here's an <laughs> example of dead air. See, it just sounds mad, doesn't it? I mean, it really does. <laughs> it's very strange to have dead air when you've worked in radio to yeah. sit there and let dead air go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. So there we are. So my special guest today is James Dean. Um, he's been in a little... Uh, uh, Competition last yes. night, weren't you? Yes. Tell us a bit about yourself, because there, there are now people who don't know you watching this show today, dear. Yeah, so it's been that long since I've been here that, uh, that yes, your, your listenership and viewership has moved on. Um, have you been saving up for a little ticket every time? I have, have yeah. It's very expensive to, uh, to come down to London from the north, you know, because yeah. in the north we've only just got electricity. And that I've, I've heard that. that. Yeah. I've actually heard that, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Granada so, Television, I believe. Um, yes, yes. Wherever you are in the world, TV. that's where, um, oh, what is it? Coronation Street is it is, yeah, it's just moved. Has it? Yeah, you know the BBC has moved to Media City in Salford yes. Keys, uh, which isn't Manchester, so if there is anyone from Salford, I have admitted that, even though the BBC oh, seem to say they are from uh, meant to Manchester. Start this, meant to start this as well, oh, in case okay. that doesn't work, because I just saw that glitch then. Is that glitching? Um... Which means it won't record properly. Oh, nothing's no, really nothing is working today. Absolutely, mm. no. we nearly gave up, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Well, I did anyway. Mm. Yeah. I said to them all, "Do you still want to do this?" I said, "I've just about had enough of this today." <laughs> there we are. That's working now. So we've so we've got that as an emergency, a little backup of the mm. sound. So yeah. So the BBC's moved to yeah. Media City and Salford Keys, and ITV's now relocating there. So they're actually building uh, a like for like Coronation Street set. Why do they want to be in the same building? I don't understand that. Um, well, they're not in the same building. They're on opposite sides of the canal. But it's um, just why. It's just, know, just ridiculous. Th there's some very good infrastructure there. Some Someone's given them good tax breaks. Yes. That's what's happened there. The Manchester so, yeah. 
Uh, Salford. Uh, the Salford uh, Council or something like that. Very probably. Because, you know, Salford in Manchester, it's it's not the best it's not the best of areas, is it? No, but Or are there good bits and bad bits? Well there are good bits and bad bits. Uh, I've lived in quite yeah. a few of the bad bits, so I don't live in Salford anymore. But the area that they've redeveloped and put this in, it is yeah. actually now really nice. So there, are, there you know, there was a good redevelopment opportunity there. Yeah. Um and it's 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 very similar to um to like the centre of Manchester now in this small area, the shops around, yes. uh, the BBC is there with with the big the Voice logos. You know that. So is that where they do the Voice yeah, yeah, from? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you get to see Jesse J? No, I saw uh, I saw Will I Am's tour bus when what? I was going. Do you to like the him? Theater. Yeah, I think he's quite. People, I've like, I like him very much. Yeah. I think he's a great character. Mm. Not only can he um sing. Now what's that? I keep hearing a bleep. That's the Skype, isn't it? Why is that doing that? Skype. So the noises have come back on. I've got to turn those off, haven't I? We can't have that going beep 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 every time a message <laughs> comes in, dear. Beep 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 beep. And uh, you work in radio. I do, yes. Uh, I work for a community station in um, in the Tameside area. Right. Yes. Uh, presenting the uh, the community interest shows. Yep. Um, which go through all different subjects every night of the week. Um, yeah, I've been doing that about six years now. Okay. And so you did enjoy you, doing it? I do, yeah. Didn't you used to have a show on there? I did, yes. They got yeah. rid of it, dear. Yes. What a cheat. <laughs> now, look, it says enable all sounds, mute all sounds. So that should turn it off, shouldn't it? Should, it should, yes. So why am I getting that little bleep now and again? That shouldn't be happening. It's off. You have pressed the save button, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Marge, send us another message. Marge reckons you look so young. Well, you are, aren't you? How old are you? Um, uh, what, really? Or what age are you? In real <laughs> year ages. Uh, I'm actually 32. 32, bless mm. his little heart. Oh, still a baby, baby face. And he mm. dyes his hair. Blonde. What do you mean? This is natural with this root uh, hey, coming you through. Your it's blonde, my natural yeah. uh, colour roots coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Marge is in uh, Oklahoma. We'll have a little chat with her later. We've also got someone else, very important, who's watching this morning. Uh, Wendy, who is a fanalo. Oh, right. Oh, she's wonderful. There's a last picture of Wendy there. Look. There she All is. Right. Lots, uh, lo uh, lots, of, lots of stuff about uh, uh, Barry Manilow there. Because uh, one of our... Because, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've become friends with lots of fanalos since my you visit have, to New yes, York. yes, yes. Which I, I wasn't. I didn't really like New York that much. Too many people. Oh. Too many people there. But um, apart from the Barry Manilow concert, <laughs> now she's got a friend, Anita, who I don't think was working at the time. And Anita's become a very good friend of mine as well. And uh, she discovered the Barry Manilow music uh, not not too long ago. Actually, mm. just a few years ago, became a fan of it immediately. Mm -hmm. And she she wanted to she wasn't working she wanted to go and see Barry but she did that did the whole thing they have this platinum package right so that's where you get a front row seat mm -hmm. meet and greet mm -hmm. and photo oh photo as well photo with right. the great Barry mm. would you like to see a picture I have one here a minute let's did have a look there There's, there she is look at that oh, look at those wow. photos of her and Barry look. Oh, wow. Is it is Barry in a pair of white shorts? Look at that. Oh, it's, it's almost pornographic. There she is. <laughs> there's, there she is with Barry. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, look, look. Very nice she had a tattoo pieces. done with, him, with his face on it. Let me see if I can find that. Well, I can't find that now. That one. It must, is it one at the top there? Sorry, boys and girls. I, you can't see these because I've, I've kind of done this. We've, we've had to rush this morning because nothing mm. went right um, earlier on. There we are. Well, I can't find it. Anyway, she wrote in last week to tell us all about her Barry thing, and it was wonderful meeting him and all that business. Um, the platinum is quite expensive, one and a half thousand dollars. Right, that is quite but expensive. That apparently goes to charity. Oh, that's all right. It's a charity thing. Yeah. That's why he does it because he does yeah. actually do a lot for charity. And um, so uh, she done that met him and uh, wrote to us all about it and she just sent in another email today which as you notice <laughs> some idiot some idiot has been printing on the wrong side here look <laughs> on the wrong side of the bits of paper because i do like to reuse paper you we do like, yes we like to use both sides of the paper mm. thank you very much 
And um, I was asking her about uh, Barry Manilow tonight, and she says, Thanks very much, uh, Chris, for reading my email about Barry. It came from my heart and will remain in my heart forever. Hope you get to meet Barry someday. Now, I, I would like that, but you know what? I, I don't know what I'd say to him. Now, you've met quite a few Z... Sorry, you've <laughs> met quite a few celebrities, haven't you? Well, I've, a few Z-lists, like yourself, A few Z-list celebrities um, like myself. Yeah. No, and I, a few A-list celebrities. Mm, yes, I did you, actually, at one point, was offered an interview with uh, Barry Manilow. You're lying on my no, face. No, I am not. It was offered. You know the musical he wrote, uh, Laughter in the Rain, I think it was called? Um, he's doing a new one called Harmony. Yes, he, he did another one called, uh, I think it was Laughter in the Rain. Is it? Th there was an opportunity. Can I just look that up? Yes, darling? of course. I don't, I don't know that one. Oh. Fanalos will be shocked that I don't know. What did you say? Laughter in the Rain? I think so, yes. When did that come out then? It was some years ago. Let's have a quick look at this. Oh. Yes, there we go. Laughter in the... Oh, it's a... Uh, is Neil Sadaka singing some of the stuff? Oh, here we are. Musical Theatre News. So when was this then? April the 9th? Yeah. What, this year? No, it toured, uh, it toured to the UK uh, some time ago. Um, okay. Maybe it's just oh, opening it's in London. Based on the life of Neil Sadaka? Yeah. Well, I didn't know this. And this is this is coming to London, is it? Um, I, I believe so, looking at that. Right, okay. Um, but yes, there, there was an opportunity to uh, interview him, but it, it got cancelled at the last minute, so, oh, um, did it? so I didn't get a chance to do that. Oh, gosh. Because I was going to send you a picture with just ha, 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 ha written underneath it. Yeah, I suspect mm. you. Why didn't you do it? <laughs> the, you said you had the opportunity to interview him. No, no they, it was cancelled at the oh, last minute. It wasn't, God, so, oh, you've got to do bent. that. I know. If it happens again. I oh, will. you must. Have. Can I come and push the buttons for <laughs> you for that, please? But... I, I don't think I've never, I've never met, a, met a real celebrity to do. Oh yes, I have. Nicky French. I was going to say Nicky French has done this show with you. Yeah, here in yeah. this room. Those of you, those of you abroad, um, might not know. Well, you will if you're in America. Nicky mm. French is very big in America. And she's, Brazil. Yeah, and Brazil, and she sings. She's a very good singer, and she represented the UK for the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, Two thousand. Ten. I was going to say ten years. Also, it's thirteen years ago. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she's a wonderful, wonderful person. And I work for her many, many times in little bars and clubs uh, here in the, the UK. And um, it's funny she mentioned Eurovision. Wonderful woman, wonderful woman. We've got the Eurovision Song Contest Saturday week, haven't we? Yes. Bonnie Tyler. Love her stuff, love Bonnie. Mm. But I'm sorry, no chance at all. No. Absolutely no chance of winning it. It's a shame, really. Mm. And so almost as if they don't want us to win. I don't think they want to spend the money because mm. it costs an arm and a leg to put the Eurovision Song Contest on. It does. Doesn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Uh, back to this email. Um, uh, hope you get to meet Barry someday. He's, he's everything you ever thought he was and more. I don't know what I'd say to him. I suppose he would probably just flow like it does mm. like now, really. Um, I imagine he's very experienced at meeting people that are mega fans and sort yeah. of putting them at ease a bit like the queen when the queen walks past and oh, talks yes. to people she puts people at ease yes so yes. i imagine he's become very i think good you're probably that. right as well maybe he could give me a singing lesson or two <laughs> <laughs> you mean looks like we made it anyway uh wh why didn't you enter that competition there uh, that's just been going what? on in, uh, in london what, the drag idol? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't put women's clothes on and do drag. You don't drag. have to do it in drag. James, James was in a competition last mm. night. It was a drag competition. Um, drag idol. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, th this is run for a few weeks, and they, they hope to find a new drag star. You didn't win last night, did no, you? No, I didn't. But it doesn't matter, because you still went at it. And you've got work anyway, haven't you? Oh, up in uh, Manchester mm -hmm. and up north. So, he's, I mean, I'd hardly, hardly class you as... It pains me to say this. Hardly class you as an amateur, dear. Sorry, uh, this is recording. Yes. So, so I can't <laughs> save that clip, can I? <laughs> hardly <laughs> cla <laughs> class you as an amateur at all. Right, boys and girls, you can uh, join in or ring in if you want this morning. Uh, the Skype username, if you want to Skype in, if you've got Skype, uh, is Chris Reardon, all one word, C-H-R-I-S-R-E-A-R-D-O-N. And there's a phone-in number as well, 20 
01336358. That's a London number, 020-8133-6358. Okay. I'm just going to read the rest of this email. Uh, Anita says, getting to meet the offstage Barry was an experience that I will never forget. He is wonderful. He really has that Manalo magic about him. To answer some of your questions, uh, the picture I sent to you, Jason, the name of my tattoo, is the name of my tattoo guy. Oh, you haven't seen him, have you? Would you like to see a picture of Jason, the tattoo guy? Yes. Oh, will, I, will I be able to find it now? That's the question. <laughs> Jason, the tattoo guy. Oh, No, it's gone. I've deleted it now, haven't I? T A T T. I'm 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 a little bit. No, that's not there now. I'm a little bit worried to do anything with a computer this morning because we've had so many yes. problems with the damn uh, machine actually getting on here today. No, we will carry on then. Um, the tattoo guy is 29. The three people, because there were more than there were other people in the in Barry's room. Right. Because um, you get taken into a room alone. Ooh. Yes, uh, there's. I think she said there was twelve people, and you, they're all in one room. And then one by one, you go into this room and meet Barry. And then we have two other people in the room who apparently are Barry's right hand man, Kirsten, who is the platinum VIP coordinator. Oh, oh I like that title. I need a title like that. The Platinum VIP coordinator. Also, the photographer, whose name I believe was Mike. She says, to be honest, I didn't know they were there until Barry called them over to see our tattoo. Barry and I were in our own little world. Going to send you a picture of my souvenirs from the Platinum, which indeed she does send. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't, I don't, I don't dare do anything on that else on the computer, like bring up pictures or that today, because we've had so much trouble. Um... Uh, so she sends some pictures of her souvenirs. So thanks for those, uh, uh, Anita. Um, <clears throat> also, I think I mentioned Elvis last week, and he's from Memphis. Where, where did I say he was from? I got it wrong. So he's from Memphis in Tennessee, of course. I really enjoy your show. <clears throat> have several have told several Facebook friends about it. Have we got new people watching? It's not a very good show today, I'm afraid. <laughs> it really isn't. Because my head's buzzing away with all these technical issues this morning. Um, have a great day, your friend Anita from Tennessee. Those pictures should be on the way shortly. So thank you for that, uh, Anita. And she does send out little pictures and things like that, which oh, is rather nice. nice. Would you like to have a little chat with Marge? Let's have a chat. Because Marge is always good for a chin wag. Marge, I'm going to give you a little call, dear. Hopefully this won't cut everything off suddenly. Um, and keep your fingers crossed this will work. Don't forget, boys and girls, you can join in by email as well. The email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Good morning, Marge. Good morning. How are you today, darling? All right? Oh, I'm doing all right. Oh, I've had terrible trouble here today, Marge. That's what, we were ten minutes late starting. I was wondering about that. I was sitting here listening to the music. Do you play that music, or is that played for you no no i play that music i thought i better do oh. something otherwise people will think we're not going to appear at all this morning oh it's okay that's all right is Actually, it all right it's you know i think mother nature wanted me to watch the show it went kaboom a lightning struck <laughs> it woke me up oh maybe that's <laughs> what it is the lightning's lightning's coming down the um internet down the internet to us probably yeah, I'm I'm having a little buffering watching the video. I had to turn it off, but it's just a storm. We got, it's it's passing now. I'm not I'm not convinced it's not this end. To be honest, I don't know who else is with us this morning. Um, I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's, there's a few. <laughs> I think. Oh, no, I was just joking about the. We have Jimmy Dean sausage here. Oh yeah, in America, yeah. it's called Jimmy Dean. And another James. When you said James Dean, I grew up with my mother. She uh, she loved James Dean. He's an actor. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever seen the actor? The I have, race yeah. cars and stuff. I have. Yes, yeah, seen uh, seen some of the yeah. films as well. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure what happened. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just woke up, so my brain. I'm listening to you, Marge. Carry on, darling. We're listening to you. 
my brain doesn't work half the time anyway, so when I'm <laughs> asleep, you know, and then the, my drawl, you know, southern drawl gets worse as the day goes by. I got my baby out of the veterinarian yesterday, like I told you, some kind of rattle brain relaxing off from that. You got your what yesterday? My dog, my baby, you know, I told you about. I oh, right, my yes. Baby. My Boston Terrier. She had to have a surgery on a lipoma. Oh, you said, yeah. How's yeah. she recovered from that? Is that is it all right or what? Oh, uh, it's not bad. She's doing real good. Once she got over the, you know, anesthetic, kind of makes her uh, act like she's drunk. Yeah. Oh. Is that a phone call or what? Was it ringing? Oh. Oh, that, that that's a reminder because um, uh, I'm going to see uh, Star Trek later on. Oh, you are? are yeah, you the film Star Trek, yeah. <laughs> Do you like this latest Star Trek? I don't. Which, do I like what? The, the latest movies, Star Trek movies? Yes, I do. You do like... You do? I do. I, I, really think, I think they've got the characters down to a T, to be honest. Well, actually, I'm just the opposite. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, why? I, mean, I don't really... I mean, it's just... I mean, it's not like the old time, you know, the original. I'm original Star Trek, you know. Yeah. Of course, I'm... I was eight years old, and I fell in love with Leonard Nimoy as Spock, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was, of course, it was very simple. There wasn't, well, the only thing I do like about it is the special effects. I'm right. a special effects person. I love a special effects. But yes. the, when I looked at the bridge of the original movie, the bridge of the Star Trek, it looked like a carnival show. I mean, it was ridiculous. All those lights. I mean, like, wow, what's going on here, you know? <laughs> and the Captain Kirk, he, he, they're just, I don't know, it just seems like a Saturday morning cartoon, is the way I see it. Now, other people may, you know, of course, the younger generation that didn't grow up, you know, with the original and all the, you know, original characters, they would probably think, oh, that's fine, you know. And, and we're Uhura. Uh, I'm sorry. Uhura, Uhura. I think was my. She was my favorite character in the in in the original series. Uhura. Yeah, but when they had Spock, and you know, Spock was very emotional. Of course, I guess he would be anyway when he was young. Yeah. He wasn't in control of his emotion, and him and Uhura, you know, had. Uhura. Uh, I, I can't. Uhura. Say it. Don't make fun. I can't talk without my teeth. <laughs> ah, put your teeth in, Marge. Honestly, dear. I don't, I, I, I don't want to put my teeth in at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like I'm 110 years old. I'm not but three years older than uh, Chris, uh, Dean. Uh, but, um, you know, it's like a car. It's how many miles you put on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just the year models. <laughs> I've had a lot of miles put on me. No, um... I just did not, and you know, like that little funny thing in in, in the, the oh Scotty, he had that yeah. little creature, you know, in, in the engine room, something like it. I was, it's just like a cartoon show to me. Um, of course, I don't know. How do you feel about it? <laughs> what the new, what the new Star Trek? It, it was kind of like a new rewrite. It was like a newer did version. You see it? It didn't play along with the original, is what I'm getting at. Now, if it was a separate, you know, separate show about Star Trek, yeah, and they used the character. That's the way I look. It, it has nothing to do with the original. Now, Quinto, Quinto, now I like his Spock. He he does good. He's always I like him in Siler and all that. He does good. But the rest of the characters, they just didn't. I didn't feel bones there. I didn't feel Kirk. It was just like. It was just weird. Right. <laughs> it's just me, because I'm just stuck on... I mean, Leonard Nimoy is 82 years old, and I'm still in love with him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, look at Barry Manilow. You know, how old is he? And I'm in love with him. <laughs> uh, now I'm in love with two people. I got Chris, my, my fam famous Chris that I'm in love with, and my doctor's... I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a chrysolo. <laughs> a chrysolo? A cr or a chrysalis. <laughs> You're a chrysalis. I'm a chrysalis. <laughs> I'm going to get t-shirts and cups and all this. Marge, stuff, you know. wait, I'm going to start I... fan club. <laughs> when you are listening this morning, have you noticed the audio isn't coming across too well? Yeah, you sound like you're in a, either in a tin can 
or a cave or something, but it's not, I mean, it's clear, but it's like a tin can. I don't know what happened. Right, I have no idea what's happening, because I think, I think what we're going to do is, um, is leave it there today, because something's clearly yeah. wrong here with the computer, and uh, uh -huh. we'll come back next week and have another try. I don't know, it's okay. Um, even if I had to yell across the mountainside, I enjoy watching the show. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, know, well, I'm, become, I'm a very good fan. I don't know how long I've been watching you, but... I know, uh, I know. You are. Hey, that reminds me, I was going to ask you, and I just thought that's a good thing I thought about it. Have you got anybody uh, that has watched you from day one and continued to be a fan? I see, I see on, I see I'm watching his archives. It's taken uh, me th No, uh, I, there, there is it. one, there is uh -huh. one, but she's not always with us. Okay, but she's, she's not there the, all the time. In fact, she's I think she's rarely there anymore. Uh, her name's yeah. Suko, and now and again she sends us an email. Oh, yeah, I know Suko. At the beginning, yeah. yeah, she was there week in, week out, but no, she's not anymore, no. Well, uh, you, know, you know, you got this Anonymous and all these other people that used to, used to talk, and, you know, lives change, of course. Things happen. Yeah. I don't know whether yeah, they things, died <clears throat> or they just quit. Th things, things move on, yes. Things move on. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've enjoyed the archives. I'm in. I'm still in 2008. <laughs> I know you right. sent in a couple of emails here, Marge. Third uh, of May, 2008. Hoovers are not Dysons. They're two different brands. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah, that is true. But we we tend to know. Even my Dyson. I've got a Dyson. I still call it a Hoover. Are uh, we going to Hoover I, the house? I, you, you, you kind of. I, they. They. You know. I'm sorry. My brain kicks in. I have to comment. But when I comment something, it's not really critical. It's just something my brain kicks in. There's you another know, one people, here. People Ten. call it hoovering. Well, a Hoover is a product. You know, Hoover is a is a brand name. Yeah. A Dyson is a Dyson. See, yeah. I'm a professional housekeeper. There's another. There's another one here. Tenth of May, <laughs> two thousand and eight. Uh -huh. I'm going to yeah. comment on a five year old video. You do <laughs> wash. You do your wash and hang it on the line. I do that too. And to yeah. say you're not crazy is a first step in being crazy. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I've been crazy for a long time. Believe me that now. Uh, that's why I think, see, uh, uh, Dean, it, it's the reason I like Chris. I, he, he makes me feel like he's my brother. I yeah. mean, we're just so much alike. I mean, everything he, he, he does is just, is just like me and Marge, one of my relatives. We are very, very alike. Mm. We really are. And the <laughs> like the, my, all the gardening like and the growing vegetables and all that business. Yeah. He he just does, he's like a real, long distance relative. I mean, you know, that's why I enjoy watching him. <laughs> I said, look at there, he's hanging his clothes out on the line, trying to oh, do Oh, do that whenever the, the sun's out. With, yeah, absolutely. With the, sheet, with the sheets blowing in his face, you know. And <laughs> There's another he one here, Marge. Animals. 15th of May. You say itchy nose means company is coming. Is that right? Yeah, itchy uh, itchy nose means you got company coming. Coming. Uh, itchy hand means you're going to get some money. Yeah, we, yeah, but that's a right uh, one or a left feet, one, isn't it? I, mean, uh, I think itchy feet means you're going to walk over a strange land. I don't remember. It's just my 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 people got a lot of folk. You know, it called folk. Uh, you, you sound like you uh, sound like persistent. the pre you sound like the president now when you say that. My people. <laughs> My people is a Native American term. We say my people. You know. <laughs> Native American. My mother's Apache, Cherokee, Kiowa, you know, yeah. uh, Cherokee. My grandfather's full blood Apache. All people are my people. I just it's just something that kind of kicks in sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just old folk superstition that you know that I grew up with. Certain things. Did you, don't you have a, a thing phrases and things like your mother had superstitions or. See, like, if I go to town and I forget something, and, you know, I go back home, or I come back in the house, I mean, not go back home, but go back in the house <laughs> or whatever, I have to sit down and count to ten. Because if I don't, it's, my grandmother said it was bad luck. If you don't count to ten? <laughs> if you don't count to ten. you got to sit down and count to ten. When, I don't and know when, do, you do, when do you do this? 
Well, like you were going to leave for work, and you go in, you get in your car, you, you, you start to drive off, and you say, oh, wait a minute, I forgot my speaker, I forgot something. You know, you go back to the house, you got to go in and sit down and count to ten. You know what, really, I know it's a super... I'd never, I'd never get out of the house, what, Mark? <laughs> I always, I'd come in, forgot the phone, forgot the keys, forgot to do this, forgot you to do... Th- terrible! There you go again! I have come back to the house three or four times because I forgot my cell phone. Yep. And I forgot. My... <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's so right. I've been, I've been counting like 50 to 100 sometimes because I forget. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I did? I set up a board beside the door, a chalk thing, a chalk, uh, like those little kids you buy yeah. for chalk, chalk drawing. I wrote a list, keys. Cell phone, <laughs> and I look at that as I walk out the You're door. You're gonna have that have that plastered on the on the back of the door. Yeah. And cats, Marge. We love cats. Yeah, we love cats. We love animals. Tom we Tom love... Harris has written in an email here, um, because we had a some a, a cat question the other week, and Tom writes, "Hi, Chris. On a recent show, a listener asked you about what a cat means when it arches its back." and bounces or runs sideways towards you. Tom says he was correct in his guess that the cat is playing. Here in the States, I often heard this behaviour referred to catty rompersing. There are a bunch of variant spellings like kitty wompus, etc. It's similar to what adult cats do when they're trying to intimidate other cats, but kittens seem to do it a lot while playing, and it's adorable. That's from Tom yeah. in Chicago, so that's that's fair enough. <coughs> you know, I missed a, uh, I lost my connection a while ago, and I didn't get to hear um, about Mr. Dean there, or Dean, uh, who he is and what he, you know... Uh, I don't mean to mean for you to repeat everything, but um, do you have cats and how a uh, radio show or what? I missed it. I can leave this at the later, I guess. Yes, um, um, I have got a cat uh, called Socks who's 13 years old now, um, and I present a, a radio show in the northwest of England on a community station uh, doing community issues every day of the week. But uh, speaking, oh. of, speaking of cats, Chris, your, your cat's very loyal, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> well, of course, he stayed here last night, so I put him in the spare room, and then uh, Katie came upstairs and jumped on his bed. Mm. Right? So I came to bed, no cat last night. She deserted me. <laughs> You've been disowned. What's well, a good thing you don't have a Siamese? He'd probably gotten attacked. <laughs> she deserted. Uh, well, I need a to get. Siamese. I need there. to get a Siamese then. <laughs> But she's yeah, pretty we'll useless. Get... <laughs> she left me they last are, night. They... She left me alone. I had to sleep alone last night. Oh. Oh, well. yes, a new bloke comes along. Off she goes. <laughs> I was dumped. Like everybody. I was dumped, just, Marge. You know, dumped. Men, cats, they just don't stay with you, but... <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> Absolutely shocking. <laughs> All right, Marge, is... I've got another email to do now, so I'm going to have to go. Okay, I was going to ask Dean if he's his, his show online or... Audio, where I can listen? Yes, or? yes, it is. Um, yes, it is online. You I... tell him, tell him what time and all that. Yes, am I okay to give out the details? Why not? Well, yeah, that's fine. It's uh, tamesideradio dot com. That's uh, tameside. I'm sorry. Uh, tamesideradio dot com. That's T A M E S I D E uh, radio dot okay. com. Um, okay. The show show goes out at UK time six to, uh, six till seven, Monday till Thursday. Uh, it's a different subject every uh, day of the week. So Monday we do business, Tuesday health, Wednesday community, uh, and Thursday is musical theatre. Um, and it's also available as listen, listen Again from TamesideRadio.com. There's a Listen Again player. Okay, I've got it bookmarked, and thank you. Not a problem. It'd be great so to you can have so, so, so she can listen at any time. So you don't, yes. don't have to be there live if you don't want him out. He plays music as well. No, I'll be... That's good. Sometimes I'm here half dead, you know. I mean, <laughs> oh, you mean the road show? Yeah, it's like <laughs> quarter past five in the morning. Man. Yeah, I'm dead most of the time. I'm here. Uh, anyway, y'all have a good day. I got to go back to sleep. Got to go back, go to work today, and <laughs> get another hour at least to sleep. But the storms will go away. Oh well, it's lightning and storming. While you haven't got tornadoes anyway. there today, have you? No, nah, no tornado. Thank goodness, not yet. It's been cold. <laughs> But no tornadoes. I got my I got my cellar to get into. Thank Good. goodness. All right, Marge. Nice to talk to you, darling. <laughs> Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.
get all them in there. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for chatting. Cheerio. Nice to meet you, Mr. Dean. And you as well, Marge. Bye-bye. Bye, Marge. So we are Marge in Oklahoma, US of A. We'll do one more email um, that came in last week. Look, dub, double printed again. Look at this. What's happened is that I've put the, the, the paper in and printed it on the same side as I've already got something out printed on, so it's a, a little bit difficult to read. Um, and uh, this is from... <laughs> God. I can't read this at all. Can you see where that's from? Um, and uh, do you know that's probably the only part of the email I can't blooming well read. It's up there, isn't it? From yeah. Oh, I can't read. No, that. I can't read. Can that. we wipe that bit of ink <laughs> off now? Or does that make it even worse? It just smudges the whole thing. Let's have a look. Uh, hello, Chris. I don't expect you'll remember me. Well, not, not if I can't see the name at the top of the email. It's my fault. As, as I say, I've printed on the same side as something else was printed on. And by the time I realised, I looked back on the emails and I deleted the email completely. I don't expect you'll remember me. It's been about two years since I've written last. However, oh, here we go. However, long since you had the audio podcast and not just the YouTube thing. Anyway, it's Jeremy, formula from Pittsburgh, now in... Um, Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. You've I got think. good eyes. May, it might be easier if I put my <laughs> bloody glasses on. I've got glasses and all, you know. Like, <laughs> so much easier to read things like this. It's all going terribly wrong. <laughs> glasses, gaps in my teeth, bad. For, oh, the foot's bad again, by the way. Yeah, the um, tablets the doctor gave me um, have uh, run out now. And the foot's starting to hurt again. So I've got another another appointment to go into the hospital. Not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. So I've got to suffer until then with a bad foot. It, it hurts on the sides. We can't work out what, what's doing it. You're just falling apart, aren't you? I, really? do it, I am falling yeah. apart gradually. Um, Jeremy says, I was puzzling, putzing around on an art project at three in the morning about a week ago. And I'd run out of podcasts to listen to. I thought to myself, now, who was that crazy Brit that I used to listen to that reminds me of Christopher Eccleston? Ah, oh, yeah. Reardon was his name. I go to search, and here you now have a YouTube thing as well. It has been a while, hasn't it? Because the YouTube videos, I, I actually thought the other day, oh, oh, that's been going a couple of years. Mm. No, it hasn't. That's it's it. like four or five years now. Is it? Yeah, it's weird watching watching old videos. Because of course you had the full studio in the other room, didn't you? With the, yes. with the sofa and yeah, I bet we did we yes with the YouTube mm. videos and that that was my favourite. Was it? I wish I'd never got rid of that. Yeah. Mm. Well, now that I look back, it's hindsight, isn't it? Now that I look back, because I sold this, I I share this secret with you. Mm -hmm. Did you ever sleep on that sofa? I did. Yes. Was it bloody uncomfortable? Oh, I thought it was horrible. Oh no. Anyway, this this sofa, it was just I just bought it for the show, really. We used to sit there on this sofa. If you want to watch any of the old shows, and you'll have to go through, and I'm not sure which ones they are, just go to the main United Kingdom Talk website, <clears throat> unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, and you'll see them all there in a long list. And on the right-hand side, I think, is the, the, the years and the months. Click on some of those, and you'll eventually find one with a sofa on it. Um, and I got rid of I got because why did I do that? Oh, that's it, yeah, because my mate wanted to stay for a while, so I got rid of that and got, put a bed in there and put the sofa in the thing. Anyway, eventually I managed to get rid of that sofa to my best mate. Right. Ron. <laughs> no, knowing full well that it wasn't because he was going <laughs> to use it. It was all right to sit on. Yeah. But as a sofa bed, no, it was bloody uncomfortable because it was hard. Oh. You know, the, the, the bottom bit. I, d I don't know if that's normal for, for sofa beds, but when you pulled it out, because it was very good quality. It was. Yeah. When you pulled it out, it was actually hard. Yeah. It was like just sleeping on a piece of large piece of wood or something mm. like that. Um, and I managed to palm that off on <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, a while later, <clears throat> so he's got this, you know, you don't know until you try. Anyway, one of his friends stayed in his house. <laughs> Right, she, she mentioned that it was a really uncomfortable, and I'm like, no, no, I didn't know that, you know, and all this business. <laughs> oh, I am, <laughs> I am naughty. Anyway, let's go back to this. Um, I'm happy to see that I can listen to your podcast the whole hour through without buffering. 
my connection doesn't usually allow for such a thing although i mean if you're watching this live today not the recording the recording will be fine if you're watching this live and if it's live if it's 20 past 11 in the uk on a friday morning you are with us live okay if it's any other time you're watching the recording we have had a lot of technical issues this morning. I, I noticed a few people have just joined us. So the sound might be like top notch today. Don't know what the picture's like, but it's, it's all gone a little bit wrong this morning. Um, it says, your face must cost a, must not cost a lot of bandwidth, <laughs> which is the opposite of what I would have thought. Yes, I'd agree. What, what's that mean then? Are you suggesting that my nose is very long? I must tell you, we did have... Come, come here, come here. We're losing you out of the picture, dear. Come closer, come closer. Oh, by the way, do you like the new chair? I do, yes. That very nasty nice. leather, non-vegetarian chair yes. is broken. And the funny thing is, with that leather chair, someone wrote in a couple of weeks ago, because it was going on about the whole vegetarian thing, mm. and I'm trying to cut out anything to do with animals. That's cool, because I've seen all the YouTube videos, and it's just vile, 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 what people do to animals. And, um, of course, some clever clogs. Now, what was his name? Was it Adam? Jeff. Jeff. It was Jeff. Some clever clogs. Isn't that a lev Isn't that a leather tail thing? <laughs> isn't that? And I said, well, yes, it is, you know. But this is already here. I'm not mm. going to chuck everything away. If it's here, it'll stay. But I won't buy anything else like yeah. that. No. Well, blow me down a week later, and I said, "Oh, I'm not gonna, not gonna change it until it breaks." <laughs> Thirteen years I've had that chair. Yeah. A week later, it broke. Couldn't believe it. Uh, must be an omen. Couldn't believe it. So I bought this from from Staples. Mm. It's very good. The, the catch is a bit uh, dodgy, isn't it? What do you mean? Um, when when you on. sit on it and you go flying backwards. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, it's doing it now. Look, look, watch. Why is it? it's not doing? It. I can't lean back again. Why can't I lean back again? Something wrong with this chair. <laughs> it was working earlier, but to lean back. <laughs> Not working, dear. <laughs> Why? Nothing works in this bloody house this morning. I'm getting pissed off. Really am. Nothing is working at all. Anyway, so I bought this from Staples. Very good service in there. Mm. Really good service. Asian man carried it out to the car and, and I bought a load of pens as well. Are they in here? No. Pens. 12 pens for a pound. Oh, that's not bad. And I thought I was doing good with those. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, I buy these pens here. Look, do you want to see these? For the um, karaoke and the quiz nights that I do. And they're all right, you know. They, they work all right. Do you find you never get your pens back, do you? Yes, oh, yeah, that's yeah. why I keep yeah. buying them. Yeah. People keep nicking the bloody pens. I'm sick to death of it! Mm. Why do I so I just have to keep buying more and more pens? Fortunately, they're, they're reasonably cheap for what I buy them for. I think those were actually like three quid fifty or something like mm. that. And um, I bought paper as well. You see the paper? HP office paper. Oh, yeah. How much was that in Staples? Oh, £2.99. £2.40 odd. Oh, not bad. So I bought ten of those. Mm -hmm. Because um, if you buy them singly, they can end up like five or six pounds mm. or something like that, don't they? Um, yes. Anyway, back to this then. Uh, oh, is Marge writing in an email. Oh, yes. If you, you still want to join in, you can do so, boys and girls. Our Skype username is all one word, Chris Reardon, C-H-R-I-S-R-E-A-R-D-O-N. You can Skype in. We're happy to talk to you on the programme. Or you can phone in as well. Phone in number 020. 81336358 Otero 81336358 Oh Marge says the picture is fine. Oh, oh so it's just the sound that's a bit of a problem today, is it? I'm sorry about that. Yep, yeah, sorry about the problems with the sound there. Um Is Wendy sending a message in as well? Oh, Wendy was brought up in Tameside. Oh, right. Yes, uh, Duckerfield Ashton Line. Ashton Underline, I DJ'd there. You did, yeah. It's close now. Yeah. <laughs> Shortly after you DJ'd there as Do well. You know, that often happens. The place, <laughs> they employ me, and, you know, and then suddenly the place closes yeah. down. Mm -hmm. And uh, Staley Bridge, which is where we've just, uh, the radio station has just moved to Staley Bridge. What was the um, hotel that I stayed at? Uh, oh, that was in Manchester. Two hotels. It? Um, yes, the one in Manchester was the... Nice. It was nice. I can't remember the name of it. Did it begin with M? Was it a Marriott? I don't know. And the other one? 
Which uh, actually I preferred. It obviously yeah. wasn't as big, good a class. Mm. Honestly, I stayed at this other hotel. It was kind of what what area was that? Uh, the first hotel. That was the second one. Uh, the second one. Um, I'm not sure. It was just round the corner, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just so, round the corner so from from um, from Ashton Underline. Mm. And I was staying. You know, when I was checking in, I became aware. Oh, it was like a bloody knocking shop in there. <laughs> It was. There was all these young fellas in there with, 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 with girls with blonde bleached hair. They'd obviously gone there for a night of passion. I mean, it's shocking, dear, what goes on in this world. <laughs> it really is. <clears throat> Marge wants to know if Katie is declawed. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. No, no, no. Katie's not declawed. Do you, do, you, do, do you have a declawed cat? I think that must be... A, I don't, this is not a cruel, it must be a cruel thing, isn't it? To declaw a cat. I don't know. The, Tell the, us more about that, Marge, declawing cats. Oh, no, I, I, I couldn't do that. There's, there's a different... Um, Does that mean it's cut or actually removed? That, that must be painful. Cut. Oh, you can't take the claws out of a cat, can you? I don't know. I think that would be a cruel thing. I wouldn't like to do that. Back to this email. Um... Jeremy says, I can commiserate with you about the whole baldness thing and the short hair. Yeah, I've got very short hair because I'm um, trying to hide the, the bald spot. There was a camera set up <laughs> over there actually earlier on. It's, it's, no, I unplugged it, didn't I? Because we yeah. thought that was causing the problems. Um, <laughs> it took a shot of my... <laughs> oh, my God. You know, and I started trying to pull this little bit of air left. <laughs> Someone said to me last night, I should grow it at the front and comb it over. We can't have a comb over, I'm sorry. It's That's crazy. just even worse. So the reason I have it so short is because it, it's not as obvious. The longer it gets, the more obvious it becomes. You have to get some black felt tip pen. <laughs> now what's this say here? You need to smudge before every show and drive off the evil gremlins that destroyed all of your equipment means to use sage and smoke oh yes because marge does um uh, ah. uh, uh, uh witch things mm -hmm. yes I've, I've had a lot of trouble with the computer this morning um jeremy says i'm boarding from the front though so i have to deal with it a lot sooner Mine starts to show a week after I've cut it, and it's terrible. Oh, yes, I know. I've, I have to cut my hair now every, every four weeks. And then after that, it kind of starts growing out. And it just looks awful. That's Professor look. It does. <laughs> it grows out like that. And you know if you've got grey hairs, because I've got... Can you see the grey hairs? Yeah, you'll have to look very hard to probably spot them. Yeah, I think I spotted one. Like one. One, one yeah, or yeah. ten, yeah. Can you notice that grows out? Yeah. Look, look, at, look in comparison to the black ones, yeah. the grey ones just go straight, straight out. Straight out, yeah. It's a bastard, isn't it? <laughs> um, you at least get to pretend... Like, it's not a thing when you look in the mirror since you're going bald in the back. Yes. So, if you know, if I look straight ahead, you would never know. If I tilt my head forward, that's when it shows, isn't it? My, my niece is one to, to constantly remind me. Mm. She likes to remind me. Any faults that I've got, anything like that, my kind niece will tell me straight away. Bless her up. I've gone shorter and shorter now. Is hair. And I'm sort of, but it's not cutting your legs off, are you? <laughs> Are you sawing bits of your leg off, dear? Shorter and shorter, and I'm now to the point where I'm going full cue ball. I know I can already see my scalp and all... <laughs> We're never going to see that, are we? Um, that looks like it says DJ Karaoke Quiz Night. <laughs> A big hurdle to make that last step. Oh, are you talking about completely shaving? Yeah, I know. Do you know what? Most people who have completely shaved their heads, they, they are quite happy with yeah. it. I can't get to that point. Mm. I I just I I don't know. Maybe a wig. <laughs> I keep telling myself that it will be a good thing. I've heard there are ladies out there who like full bored men like Patrick Stewart. And you see, yeah, I mean I've gotta say, the men on the telly I've seen look bored. It's not not ugly. No. Doesn't make them ugly. Do you think I could do that? Just shave it shave off? Shave it all I off. don't know, I don't know, you know. You'll have to get one of them bald, oh, bald God, head caps no, and see what I you can't. look like. Well, you'd probably get one of those off eBay. Yeah. Just get one and see what you'd look oh, like. Oh, no. 
I'm going to try that. <laughs> but I'll order one off eBay when we yeah. come off air. Yeah, you'll have to do a whole show though. Bored head cap and see if. So I'll do it and see if anyone notices. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do you have bored likers over there in the gay community? No, I don't think we do. It depends. If you're about 25 years old and you've got tattoos and you look like you're a bit of a scaffolder, then yes. Otherwise, I can't see it somehow. No, I... I, <laughs> I don't really see it. Um, about... About the... T... Oh, about the tea. Does it really make any difference putting milk in before tea? I can understand the tea and the boiling water bit, the heat and chemical reactions. Yeah, because I always say, you know, the water must be boiling. Yeah. To put in a cup of tea. You go in many, many... And I've had this in Leeds, where they come over... Oh, no, what was it the other day? Where was I the other day? Frankie and Benny's. You right. know the pizza place? Mm -hmm. Well, we got one of those in Bracknell. Oh, right. Okay. And um, I ordered a cup of tea. She comes over with a cup of hot water and a tea bag on, on a saucer on the top. And I'm like, well, what, what, what's that? <laughs> Where's the cup of tea? That's how we serve it here. Well, I said, well, it's wrong. It doesn't taste the same. It tastes mm. awful. It's just like wishy-wash. Might as well bring me over a cup of washing-up liquid, mm. you know. Have you ever tried to drink a cup of washing-up liquid? No, I haven't. Let me go and get one for you. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, he, he understands the, the boiling water and the heat and the chemical reaction. Does it really make flavour difference at all, though? Yes, it does. Oh, well, just do it. Do it. OK? Try this at home, boys and girls. What I want you to do is a few things. With a cup of tea, first of all, make one correctly, right? Boiling water, pour onto tea bag. Leave for four minutes, Right? Remove tea bag, squeeze against the sides of the cup, inside of the cup, and then add a little bit of milk. Try that. Then boil some water, take it off the boil, leave it for a couple of minutes, and then pour that into your tea and do the same with the milk. Okay? And then make another proper cup of tea with the boiling water on top, but add the milk to it while the tea bag is still in there. And there is a definite different in taste between all those three or four different cups. You tell me which one is best. Do that one on email if you like, okay? Chris, uh, United Kingdom Talk, uh, .co .uk. Do you He's, know, talking about uh, tea and timing, yes. my mum actually sets the pinger. You know, on the uh, on the oven, the time. No. She sets the pinger to four minutes. Your mum's got a lovely house. She has. Where his mum lives, um, uh, and the back of the house is just a window, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right across the back, and then she's got a gut, and then fields. Yes. Oh, your mum has got such a beautiful view. That perhaps if she sold that house to me. Well, I you can move know. up there and get you a little could, job on yes. Tameside FM, or whatever it's called. Tameside Radio, yes. Tameside <laughs> Radio, yes. Mm -hmm. Um... The. Can we see that? Um, no. The tea ends up oh. too hot anyway. I don't know. Sometimes I'll leave my coffee cream out for eight hours, go back and use it. It still tastes the same to me. Oh no, that'd be curdled, dear. We can't do curdling. That'd be curdled, wouldn't it? Oh, we've got to say hello to Claire. Good morning, Claire. Where are you, Claire? I can tell you exactly where Claire is. Is it Claire in Manchester? It is Claire in Manchester. Oh, I know yes. her. You do, yes. With boyfriend James. Steve. Steve. Yes. Uh, Has she got two boyfriends? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> are you one of them, James? No, no, no. Oh. Although somebody did think... Uh, she's a new mum as well, so uh, congratulations on oh, that. Oh, how old? Um, oh, um, um, she's going to kill me now. It's uh, a couple of months. Not her, him. No, the, yeah, a couple her, of months. Her, him, her, him, 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 him name, him. Um, Elliot. Oh, that's a nice name, Elliot. What? Oh, uh, uh, phone home, <laughs> Elliot, isn't it? Et. Have you named it, it after is. that boy in Et? We love it. <laughs> we love it, Elliot. Yeah. Fantastic. My uh, my uh, my nephew's wife is about to drop another one, dear. Oh, oh they like rabbits. I know. Ah! At it I all know. the time. <laughs> I know. Um, <clears throat> let's finish this email. Um, it's non-dairy. Oh, well, no, it's not going to yeah. go off then, is it? 
I, I don't think it would make a difference if I left it out for a week, honestly. Um, yeah, oh, well, I use soya milk, and that's got a very long life. I try to avoid as much dairy as I can. Going back to the whole am animal cruelty thing, um, I could tell you what goes on. <coughs> but if you ever want to know, just look it up, the, the secrets of dairy farming or something like that. And it's just horrific what goes on, what, what's done to animals. Um... Uh, I live on a horse farm. So thank you very much, Jeremy. Of course I remember you. Fancy saying that, that I wouldn't remember you, dear. Mm. I do remember you, yes. Yeah, just to clarify, Elliot's six weeks old. Oh. So that's nearly two months. Oh, well, that's <laughs> nice. I wonder if he'd like me to come and do his birthday disco. He probably would, actually. Claire will probably take you up on that. That'd often. be quite nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Marge reckons... Um, uh, Oh, where's that gone now? Her cats are not declawed, but they are not in the house. It's not painful if done right. They remove the entire tip of the toe, and it would not be good if they go outside like Katie does. I think that's cruel, Marge. I don't think animals should be and bits taken off them because it's easier for us to keep them. What do you say? No, I, I agree. It's a bit like poisonous snakes. Some yeah. of them have the poison ducts removed. Do they? So that they can be handled. I just no, it's not nice. If Why you're going to keep exotic pets, then you keep yeah. them whole. You know. But you could argue that having a cat neutered is, is cruel as well, if, if, if I take those sort of lines, wouldn't mm. you? Oh, well. You'd have a line of cats outside your front door. I if you wouldn't mind a line of cats outside no. my door. We love cats. Speaking of cats, uh, Claire, who is uh, writing at the moment, she's yeah. got an amazing amount of cats. Uh, how many cats have you got now, Claire? Let us know. I think it's about six. Something six like that. Six cats. Oh, you can never have enough cats in my mind. You really no. can't, dear. Um, let's have a look. Oh, good morning to Jason. Jason says, um, Morning, Chris. Just passing, dear. I see you're talking about hair. I shave my bush regularly. Well, I hope you do. <laughs> and Danny, Danny says he's just tried to call in. Danny, we didn't see you call. Now, where's where's that come from? I don't know. Did you hear that bleep? I did hear that bleep. Yeah, that hasn't been happening, has it? No. I don't understand that. Let me just try the phone in, because he says he's just tried to call. I hope that's working. What's, I've forgotten the number now. What is it? <laughs> 6358 You show something come up there and then tell us that there's a call coming in. Um, oh. Not recognised. Have I got the right number here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Right, 020 8133 Have I been given out the wrong number? No, that's ringing. Oh, there it is. There. No, Danny, you must have. Um, you must have. Oh, that's where it's coming from. The bleepings from the bloody mobile phone, dear. <laughs> I wondered where that was coming from. It's coming from the mobile phone, not not the computer. Dear me. Go on, what's that say there? Oh yes, uh, Claire said she has six cats. Six cats, how fantastic. Uh, thanks to me with Dora, because I, I took on Scott Bruton, who, yeah. um, who you've met as well. He His cat, I looked after when he moved back to London. Yeah. Um, and uh, Dora and Socks weren't the best of friends, so, oh. uh, so Claire took on Dora, and uh, she's fitting well with the rest of them. Yeah. yeah, the trouble is, if you've got a cat, cat on its own for so long, mm. um, I, I, it's, you can't bring another one. No. This is like Katie. You know, I could not bring another cat in now. No. Unless Katie, you know. Yeah. Whatever. I don't like to talk about no. that. But um, if if Katie went and I decided to get cats again, I would get a few. It would mm. be more than two. You'd be like the mad cat woman. I would you? have four or five cats. Yeah. You could get chickens instead. And then you've got fresh eggs. Are they you... friendly? Yeah, but they the mess, you... don't they? Oh, God, there'd be bird mess everywhere. Marge says um, they use a can of hair black, hairspray black you could spray on your head and hide the balls. Does that remember, Does that work? Do you know, I saw an advert. I think it was no. one of these clip shows, um, and it was like a little little bobbles of stuff. You know, like lint yeah. fluff. Lint. Like that, and you sprayed it on your head and it filled it in. <laughs> it was on one of these um, infomercials. 
No, I haven't yeah. seen that. It was. Um, I'll have to dig it out for you. So it'll be on YouTube somewhere. Might be worth trying. But as soon as I go swimming, it'll just come off oh, in the yeah. water. <laughs> you have a trail. What of if black it rains? <laughs> you have a trail of black paint. Oh no. Um, Marge says, "On all my dog pets, I always love to pet and rub the backside of their heads. Without hair, you see, it's so soft and sexy. Oh, yeah, I do think so. Just have a little rub of my head there. Is that is that like nice and is that nice? Is that quite um, nice? Is it? No." <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're going to go now because um, I've got to get James and train station to take him home and then I'm off to see the new Star Trek film at one o'clock and it's already 20 to, four, uh, 20 to 12. So there we are. Thank you very much for, for, for having a little chat today. I'm sorry. It was Thank so, you for having it's me. It's never, ever a problem like that. It's me. I'm causing the one, problem. One of the things I've done, of course, is um, had to re try to reset my Firefox to see if that sorted out the problem. Number one, it didn't sort out the problem. And number two, <laughs> it's now removed all my bookmarks. Yeah. So, not being a good morning, really. Anyway, that's it today, boys and girls. Don't forget the email address, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk is the email address, okay? Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Thanks so much for watching and listening. I'll see you on the next show. Main website for the show, United Kingdom Talk. .co.uk. Say goodbye. Goodbye. See you on the next show. Bye-bye now.